Hi, Mustafa. So this is a question you were asking me with regards to GML language. Uh, well, geog ge geography markup language. So can you add those layers or those file types to QGIS? And you can. I'll just show you. Um, if you open up your data source manager and you go to vector and then click on your little browse button next to source. And then if you have a look at all files, if you scroll down, you'll see there is a GML file there. So you can add geography markup language files to your project. So let's see how we can do that using the the link that you sent me. So I'm going to go to that link now. And here it is here. Download GML. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on that layer and I'm going to say save link as. And I've got it in my desktop. I'm going to save it as .gml. And I'm going to remove what is this? Just going to remove this text here. Just say, just call it feature and save. And then just go make sure that it did actually save. There it is. There, okay. So I see it's it's got a, a GML which I added and then it's still got dot text. So let's let's open this up in a notebook or notepad. And this is what it looks like. So it is a text file with all the coordinates for the various vertices of that layer. Okay, so that looks like it's it's doing what I expect it to. But I want to change this. I want to remove this dot text here. So I'm just going to right click and say rename. And if you can't see your extensions, you will need to make them uh, available. Okay, so now I've removed dot text. And there may be another way to do this, by the way. I'm just I'm just seeing. Uh, if this is a way we can do it on this website. So let's go ahead and add that one now. So I'm going to go and search for the GML. So it's in that folder. There it is there. So if I select that and say open and then add and close, I see it has added something. Where is it though? Okay, so there is something. It's coming in in a different projection. So it's it hasn't recognized a projection. So let's just I think this is probably EPSG four three two six. So let's just change the project coordinate reference system to four three two six. There we go. Say so OK. And it's disappeared, which is a good sign. Zoom to that layer. Okay, there we go. So what we can do now is we can actually assign that projection. So just just right click on that layer. That new layer has been added. You go to layer style and then you just set it to 4326. So now if we change this projection, it let's change it to UTM zone 35 south, which might be wrong, but let's just see if that works. Yes. Okay. So now that projections are defined and it'll be added and overlapped with your other data. Okay. I mean that's how you can do it. So you can add GMLs to QGIS, which I which was what your original question was. You can then go and turn this into a shapefile if you like. Just right-click, export, save features as, and then choose shapefile or geopackage, whatever it is. And let's just have a look at what the uh, the attribute table is. Okay, it's only one record, but looks the thing is there's clearly only one feature for this layer. There it is. There. Okay, so I hope that answers your question. Um, yes, you can add GML files in QGIS.